Yeah. No, I know. I know. Warzone's not doing too hot right now, and I'm gonna fix it, okay? I got a great idea, but I gotta, I gotta do it, okay? I've done it once before. Works like a charm. Okay, bye. God, stop, bro. Hey, wake up. Wake up. Huh? What? Where am I? I'm gonna need your help to fix Warzone. Come on, I already made Overwatch a sequel. And the things that you were able to do with Overwatch 2, mwah, spectacular. Oh, come on, let me go. Look, this is gonna happen whether you like it or not. I just need you to do some, some heavy lifting, okay? Why are you doing this? Hey, hey, don't take this personally. It's just business, okay? And after this, maybe we'll do another sequel together. Really? Like a real sequel? <laughs> sure. Call of Duty Warzone has released its sequel. Sort of. In a similar fashion to Overwatch 2, or Fortnite Chapter 2, Activision Blizzard slapped the two on the game, changed a few things, and it kind of worked. It's different enough that the gameplay feels fresh, but it's still the same game that people learn to love at its core. So because it's so similar to the original Warzone, if you want a more in-depth understanding of Warzone, you can watch the original video. Instead, for this video, I'm going to go over the main changes that Warzone 2.0 has to offer, and I'll also let you know if it's a net positive change or a net negative change. Then I will review the game as a whole. Sound good? Cool. But first, let me give you just a general explanation of Warzone to all the noobs out there that have never played Warzone before. Warzone 2.0 is Kakadudu's Battle Royale where you can drop in as a solo or in a team, loot up, and hope to be the last one standing. If you die, you have one last chance to come back in the Gulag. Make sense? Okay, let's begin. <laughs> Warzone 2.0 has implemented a backpack system very similar to Apex Legends. This allows you to carry extra things, like extra ammo, extra gear like gas masks, and extra armor plates. Look how many armor plates you can carry, it's crazy. This also means that you finally have the ability to pick things up for the homie and deliver to them. Thank you. You can also carry extra killstreaks to save for later, and even extra backpacks. Your initial backpack is small, but over time you may find an even bigger backpack to carry even more gear. The biggest downside is that now you have to loot enemies through their backpacks, and it's a little clunky and slow and not ideal, since you kind of are standing still if you're looting. But it does make looting enemies a lot less safe than before. Overall, net positive. Oh, medium backpack. Do you need a medium backpack? I sure do. Here, I'm dropping it right now. Ready? Thanks, man. Backpack, 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 backpack. Yeah! Keeping on with the trend of copying Apex Legends, they also made it so you don't have the ability to increase your armor plates to three until you find better armor, meaning you have two armor instead of three. This decreases the kill time in general, since on average, people will have less health on drop, but finding the upgraded armor isn't too uncommon, so it's not frustratingly low health. Overall, net positive. Warzone 2.0 has made proximity chat a thing. This allows for you to actually communicate with your enemies. You can try and collaborate and team up, or just talk mad smack before killing them or dying yourself. Hey buddy, don't do this. I told you not to do this! This has allowed for some very fun shenanigans to take place, but it's also a breeding ground for toxicity never seen before. To a girl, so I hope you die in real life. Homie's just mad that he died to a girl. Holy f Imagine putting a bunch of colored dirt bags together in one room and letting them all speak. <laughs> oh, what are these noises? It's a nightmare, but it's insanely good for content, and you can always turn off people's mics if you'd like, or just kill people for having bad mics. <laughs> That was for that mic, dude. However, if you talk in game to your teammates, people will hear you regardless of whether or not you turn off other people's chat. So just use Discord and join mine. <clears throat> Overall, net positive. The Gulag is now a 2v2 because it's Warzone 2, duh. So now you have a teammate that can help you win the Gulag or you can just carry them to a dub if they're dead weight. No, 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 no. 
Oh, oh my god. Ball. The coolest part is that you can talk to your enemies and agree to not kill each other. And instead, you can kill the Jailer, who will fight you all at once if you don't start shooting. And if you successfully kill the Jailer, all four of you will go out. But good luck trying to get anyone to actually collaborate. Let's find the Jailer. Kill each other, don't be <laughs> This game just gives me trust issues, I swear. And while it's an interesting change, I much preferred not having to rely on a teammate in the original 1v1 version. Overall, net minus. At buy stations, you can now buy your custom loadout weapons. Not the full loadout with its perks, just the weapons. This makes the RNG of finding a gun that you actually like sort of go away. And this makes the only excuse for losing your own skill or that they're on controller. Controller fans, this was a joke, please don't kill me. Because of this, money can kind of feel a little spread out or scarce than before, which can also make buying back your teammates a little bit harder than it used to be. Where's my money, game? Where's my money? God, why is there no money anywhere, dude? But overall, net positive. The map feels a little bit better in some areas while worse in others. I like the addition of strongholds that allow for players to get a ton of money in their loadout. And I just think that adding NPCs like this added a lot of enjoyment to an otherwise kind of empty map. But from an aesthetic side, not much is really better for Warzone 2 than Warzone 1. I never really liked Verdonsk, and I don't care for this map much either. Everyone's still just gonna camp anyway. Yo, did you bring the uh, marshmallows and the chocolate? I brought the cheese. No, no, cheese doesn't normally go on s'mores, my guy. No, cheese goes for rats, and that's who we are. Overall, net neutral. <laughs> The movement has been toned down a bit, so doing crazy movement techniques and dunking on kids will happen less often. The hardcore sweaty people that could do crazy movement consistently will be upset, and this change seems to be pretty controversial overall. But it should be better for the average player's experience, in theory. Overall, net neutral. Warzone 2.0 introduced the cockadoodle community to their own Tarkov-like game. It's just Escape from Tarkov, but Call of Duty. So it's a grindy loop where you go in, try and do challenges, escape, and make money. Or die and lose everything that you brought. Personally, I didn't really enjoy this mode at all, but I've seen some people really getting a kick out of it. I just don't like game modes that are really grindy, so it's just not my cup of tea. So to each their own, but I'll stick with Warzone. Overall, net neutral. I'm going to rapid fire the smaller changes. The intro for Warzone is more dynamic, especially with a full squad in the plane. Positive. The Gulag intro is also pretty slick. Positive. The new killstreaks like the recon drone bomb thing are annoying to die to, but fun to pilot. Neutral. The over the shoulder spectator view is a little disorienting for me, but if you like it, so be it. Neutral. So that's Warzone 2.0 in a nutshell. There's probably other subtle changes all throughout, but I really wanted to highlight the main ones. Normally I would do a whole pros and cons list, but since I also rated each change, we got that out of the way. So the game in its 2.0 form with all its changes is in a much better state. Previously, I rated Warzone 1.0 a 7.5 out of 10. So I will be giving Warzone 2.0 an 8.5 out of 10. But what do you think? What are your favorite changes added to Warzone 2.0? What are your least favorite changes? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay guys, I gotta go. Halo Infinite's dying, so I think it's time to get good old number two to help out. So uh, I'll catch you later. Ya noob.